Child care for us is a foundation of our mission. We serve roughly 250 to 300 kids a day, which range from kids as young as six weeks old all the way up through fifth grade. Now we are the only organization that offers child care assistance in the community. So if a family doesn't qualify for um, county or government funding at the Y, if you're eligible for assistance, we offer you assistance and you can get a discounted rate for your child care. We were looked at quote unquote as a babysitter, but as parents have had to work longer outside of the home, we become the individuals who are impacting their lives, training them through, helping them with their skills. We're the ones who get to see the first walk. We're the ones that have to take the picture and help that parent to see that first walk. We have children who are with us eight or nine hours a day, and that's prime developmental time. We take a lot of pride in being able to be a part of their growth and development. Uh, we have them do math and reading. Um, we work with their fine motor skills with different activities. We want to make sure that the facility we have is the best facility that we can make it. Our child care facilities are in the oldest part of our building, which was built in 1904. While the classrooms are, are adequate, they're certainly far from modern. They need updates in terms of infrastructure, like the heating and the air conditioning. There isn't an elevator. Everything is done by stairs. Um, it isn't ADA accessible. So when we have children or parents who may have some physical limitations, we always have to do a workaround to be able to accommodate. One of our missions is to educate kids on healthy eating. We want to be able to put kitchens in the child care centers. Right now the kitchens consist of a refrigerator in one place and a microwave in another. There really isn't a prep space. So we're, our plan allows us to put kitchens on each of the floors so that we can really engage the kids when they're young in, in healthy nutrition. One of the parts of the plan that's, that's really important for us is that we will be taking space that's currently vacant on the third floor of the building and um, turning that into our school-aged child care space. This space used to be the YMCA dorms. Watch your stuff right there. And when our Y was originally built, we, um, we would house men who needed a room to stay. So encircling the room were individual dorm rooms, and then this was a common, a common meeting area. The light up there is the original skylight from the building. Um, all of the architecture up here is the original architecture. Um, and you can see that it needs a lot of work, but structurally it's sound, and our plan is to bring the school-aged child care program from a bunch of different areas in the basement of the Y and then unify it up on this floor. So we would have the entrance here, we would have on this portion of the, of the floor, we would have space for homework, for small group work, quiet activities, things like that. And then as we would go over here, we would be able to remove most of these walls and have um, like an open activity space for the kids and we would have elevator access to this floor, which, um, which will be great for the kids and for the parents. By renovating this floor is it will give us additional space for our child care program in general. So when we're over capacity, we'll have places to bring the kids and this will be a good flexible space for our early child care program. With this renovation, it's really gonna give us a space of our own and the kids are really gonna feel like they have a place and a home that they can come to and feel comfortable with. Uh, we're really excited about it because they're going to have different areas where it's going to really fine-tune what they need and really meet them on their level. It'll just be a more organized structure and I think our days will even go smoother. You want kids to have natural light, you want them to have um, places that they can store their own stuff that's theirs, you want them to be able to um, have just such a warm place to go with components, not just your teachers, but just the things around you. We're going to try to have different areas for younger and older kids so that way the kids that are going into like fourth, fifth, sixth grade can have their own little section. Childcare is 
the feel that you make do with what you have and you learn how to recycle it, you get to be more excited about it. But a new facility just allows us to kind of go pop, we've made it. Thank <laughs> you.